Hello everyone, uh, my name is Kaswini Ojuku. So um, I'll be presenting um, this decentralized app we built using uh, the Covalent API. So I'm making this presentation on behalf of my team members. Uh, we are four in number. So and we work together to achieve this um, app which I'll be presenting right now. So um, this app was built using the Covalent API and we consumed a total of um, five endpoints. There are two endpoints from the class A endpoint and three endpoints from the class B endpoint. So I'll be taking you through the DAB and how it works. So um, the first part we have is the asset, so which is the first place you see once you visit this, um, this DAB. So you see a place showing enter your wallet address and select network and you see what it's saying track DeFi and DAO portfolios. View all your DeFi investment and DAO analytics in a single dashboard with this uh, beautiful um, GIF image here. So the first thing we need to do, we have to get a wallet address. So I'll be opening my uh, Metamax to get uh, the wallet address. Uh, uh, waiting for Metamax to come up. Uh, this is taking some time. So let me just get this address here. I use it. So um, all right, I've copied the address, and now I'll paste the address in this uh, address place. And uh, I'll select the network. So I'll be selecting Ethereum as the first network. So I'll click this. So it's showing loading. Uh, let's wait for it to load. All right. So this is it. Uh, this is I have uh, 0 0.00042 ETH in this wallet, and uh, this wallet has a record of two transactions. So let me switch to Binance Smart Chain, uh, and I search the same thing. Uh, okay, so it's taking a while. I think my internet is kind of bad. All right, so uh, I have a total of um, uh, I have a total of seventy-five tokens on my Binance Smart Chain with a total transaction of hundred transactions. Now this helps you to monitor whatever you have, like to analyze and monitor whatever you have in your wallet with just one dashboard you know um, most times we have assets in our wallet and we can't we didn't import those assets so we might not be able to decipher the number of tokens we have and all of that so with one dashboard you can see all your assets on different chains so let me switch to uh, polygon uh, chain that's polygon mainnet and here uh, I think I've added Matic token and I have uh, zero transactions here and uh, let's see on uh, phantom chain on Phantom Chain, I have a total of seven tokens uh, and a total of um, 75 transactions. So this is how this part works. And let's go to Avalanche uh, and let's see if I have any transaction or token on Avalanche Chain. Okay, on Avalanche, I have two tokens. I have the Good Bridging token and the uh, Avalanche uh, coin. I remember trading Good Bridging some time ago. And I have a total of 28 transactions on um, Avalanche chain. All right, so uh, this is uh, all about the asset section. So it helps you monitor and uh, keep record to monitor and keep record of all your transactions and all the assets you have in different chain. All right, so um, while working with the API, I also noticed that some of the URLs of the um, uh, coin or the token uh, ticker sorry the token um, uh, logo are broken so yeah those are some of the things I noticed so let's move over to the DAO section so the DAO section uh, gives you uh, analysis of different DAO so uh, what we have here this is um, top five tokens on Uniswap uh, based on swap count for uh, uh, the past 24 hours so if by if you check this this graph maybe around um, zero zero hours of the day you see that this uh, graph will just show you one color because uh, that's when the the hour count starts uh, so this is the the, the chart the uh, this is called um, um, uh, a donut chart so this is a donut chart representing uh, top tokens on uniswap and their 24-hour swap count. And this other part, we have top 
nine decentralized exchanges on Ethereum mainnet and their swap fees. So if you hover there, you see QuickSwap has 0.003 ETH at its swap fee. Same with Uniswap V2 and SushiSwap, uh, StellarSwap. BeamSwap has uh, a lower uh, trading fee, which is 0 0.002. Uh, uh, three Solaris, same with others. Uh, uh, WannaSwap 0 0.002, uh, ApeSwap 0 0.002. So this gives you um, a a chart or uh, this this is a pie chart actually so it gives you a chart representation of a uh, swap fees of uh, top nine um, exchanges on um, ethereum mainnet so down here we have um, swap count and liquidity of tokens traded or selected uh, dexes so the default or once you load this part the default uh, listed uh, tokens are on um, uniswap ethereum net uniswap uniswap is on ethereum net so and here we have a total of um, 20 tokens and here you can see their swap count you see, so you use this to monitor the frequency or how uh, how frequent to uh, a particular token is being traded so this analysis helps you to know how people are actually trading or swapping a particular token so it can give you an insight of a token to invest on and all of that so let's say you want to go into the market you want to buy a particular token you need to know some of the tokens that um, people are actually buying you need to know how frequent people swap this token so chart like this gives you uh, an insight on how to make decisions and also you have um total liquidity so liquidity liquidity is basically um, what enables people to trade a particular token so if there is no liquidity for a token that token cannot be traded so when you have a uh, higher liquidity for a token it means yeah you can trade that token as much as possible and you, you can make profit from it so it also gives you the total liquidity of each token in a particular um, decentralized exchange so this is a chart and this helps you for a good for helps you to make good and informed decisions all right um moving over to sushi swap so once you click here still on ethereum chain because uh, sushi swap is obviously on ethereum chain so you click on load and you wait for it to load so this is the first 20 tokens on sushi swap and their swap count and their liquidity we ha also have their quote rate and as you can see it's coming from sushi swap as well so moving over to uh, phantom chain I, will, I, will, I have a reason for skipping binance chain uh, you see that later so moving to phantom chain uh, we have spooky swap on phantom chain so when you click load it's going to fetch uh, the tokens on spooky swap yeah phantom chain so this is a quote rate these are the token names and you have the total liquidity and also the swap count so from what we are seeing here we notice that bfi.finance has more swap counts than would trade network so this means a lot of investors are attracted to bfi.finance so that's a good insight for someone that wants to invest in crypto and all of that yeah so uh yeah yeah all right uh let's move over to avalanche network and switching to trader joe trader joe is one of the most popular um decentralized exchange on avalanche network so let's load and yep okay so we have seen the tokens uh, trading on trader joe and all these tokens are on avalanche uh, blockchain so we have um ch uh, ch is it chicken egg uh, with a total swap count of 2865 yeah uh, and and so forth and so on so this will help you make informed decisions like it's very good for analysis uh, and um uh, proper graphical presentation all right, let's go back to Binance Chain. Now, I noticed that the Binance Chain API takes a while before returning data. So even if you check it on, um, even if you check it on, what is it called? On uh, um, Postman, it takes a while to return the data, but it actually returns data. So that's why I'm going for the um, pancake swap on Binance last. So if you click this now, you see it's loading. So this will take a couple of time it will take a while before it returns the data right so uh let's wait for it uh yeah it's gonna make the video a little bit longer but yeah we obviously have to see how it works so yeah we are waiting for it uh let's see so still looking at um 
uh, postman postman is still trying to fetch same thing with our app here so it's actually coming from the api endpoint all right so let's wait for it let's wait for it but okay also we did um the nft parable yeah because of limited time we couldn't finish the nft part so we just made it to be coming soon but we had bigger plans on what to do with this section so we wanted to consume uh the nft apis on the class a endpoint to um display all the nfts uh of uh, a particular contract address let's say you deploy that nft and you get the nft contract with that endpoint you can get all the nfts that is inside that contract address so that's actually what we wanted to do so okay uh back to binance pancake swap yeah uh it finally gave us some data and here we have 20 tokens again and uh uh I think some of the tokens on Binance chain are not really that much traded, but we have Elemon with uh, a swap count of 18 and uh, Theta USD with one. Okay, so the rest are zero, zero, zero. So I think uh, this is a clear point that investors should focus more on Ethereum blockchain. Yeah, so at, at least with this record, I can make decision. I think I have to focus on Ethereum blockchain if I want to do any form of investment. So uh, I think that's it. Uh, let's move on to the NFT part. Like I said, it's coming soon and this is the UI for it. So you can just click here and go back to the home. And uh, uh, we, we, we did a proper documentation on... Um, on our git uh, readme so and we also made a uh, ipdf documentation so this is our git readme it has the number of contributors so everything is here and how you can install and get this project started and moving forward and all the dependencies used and everything so i think that will be all uh, when submitting everything will be added to um the submission link or file and all of that thank you very much uh thank you for having me my name is kaswini and i'm representing my team of four members thanks